Millions of people worldwide live with autoimmune diseases like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and the disease I live with, Sjogren's disease. And while we have treatments that help manage symptoms, many people continue to struggle with the impact these conditions have on their daily lives. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kara Wada. I'm a quadruple board certified pediatric and adult allergy, immunology, lifestyle medicine physician. Today we are diving into some incredibly exciting and cutting edge research in the world of autoimmunity that gives me so much hope for our future. What if we could move beyond just managing symptoms? What if we could actually reset the part of the immune system that's causing the problem in the first place? That revolutionary, that's the revolutionary idea behind a new investigational therapy I want to talk about today called CLN978. What is CLN978? Let's meet the T cell engager. It's a type of therapy called T cell engager, and let's break that down. In our immune system, we have different types of cells that all have different jobs. T cells are like the security guards or soldiers of our immune system, and their job is to find and eliminate harmful cells, like cells infected with a virus. We also have B cells. B cells are normally our allies. They create antibodies, which are proteins that help fight off infection and provide our immune system really critical memory. But in many autoimmune diseases, some of these B cells go rogue. They start producing autoantibodies, and those misguided missiles mistakenly attack our own parts and pieces, our tissues, causing inflammation and damage. A T cell engager like CLN978 is a specifically designed molecule that acts like a matchmaker. One end of it grabs onto a T cell, the other end grabs onto one of those rogue B cells. And by physically bringing them together, it tells the T cell, hey, this is a cell we need to eliminate. This allows your body's own immune system to precisely target and remove the B cells that are driving the autoimmune disease. 